lupus, or more properly, systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE for short, is an autoimmune disease which can affect a variety of different organs of the body. Because any one person may have different disease components, lupus is often known as a disease of a thousand faces. The cause of lupus is unknown, but is due to an abnormality in the immune system which causes it to attack one's own body. Areas of involvement can include the skin, joints, blood cells, kidneys, lung, brain, and more. Patients with lupus may describe pain or swelling in joints, rashes, difficulty being in the sun, pain or color changes to the fingers or toes on the cold, hair loss, sores in the mouth or nose, difficulty with breathing or chest pain, a history of blood clots, miscarriage, and more. While truly any area can be involved, many people only develop the milder components of disease. Who gets SLE? SLE occurs in 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 2,000 people. Most are women, with only 10% men. While commonly diagnosed in the third or fourth decade of life, youth and older individuals can have lupus. If you have any of the symptoms described previously, that does not mean you have lupus. In fact, most people with these symptoms may have other common ailments. Lupus is best diagnosed by a rheumatologist who can ask you questions about your symptoms, perform an appropriate physical exam, and do investigations which only all together can determine if you have lupus. There is no one blood test that can diagnose lupus. An ANA test, which is often associated with lupus, does not confirm a diagnosis of lupus. While a negative ANA test rules out lupus, less than 1% of those with a positive test have lupus. If you are diagnosed with lupus, there is treatment available and is guided by the manifestations you exhibit. Regardless of disease's severity, most patients will be started on an anti-malarial medication, hydroxychloroquine, which treats milder symptoms and may prevent more serious organ involvement. Anti-inflammatories can be used to treat joint pain. For more severe disease, stronger medications are often necessary, with examples including azathioprine, cyclophosphamide, mycophenolate, and corticosteroids. Please visit the website for information on all these medication options. While lupus can increase risk of death, the survival rates are 95% with appropriate treatment. Many patients will develop well-controlled disease, and some are able to achieve complete remission medication-free. For more information on lupus and its treatment, please visit edmontonrheumatology.com or speak with